Have you ever needed to add text or add an object to a photograph, but it's in perspective? And perspective is really quite simple once you understand it, but it takes quite a while to get the knack of it so things look good and don't look kind of strange. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to let Photoshop do all the thinking for you. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. Today I've got a great tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to add some text or shape or an object, even a photograph, onto another photograph that has perspective. And it's super easy, so let's just dive straight in. So here we go, I've just created a text layer and you know this doesn't necessarily have to be a text layer, it could be anything, it could be a photo, an object. In fact, why don't I just rasterize it? I'm going to right click and rasterize that type. So now it's not even text, it's just a regular layer. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to select this by hitting control and click. And now we just want to copy this. So we're just going to choose edit, copy. And now I'm just going to hit control D or command D to deselect it. And I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to create a brand new layer and I'm just going to call it perspective. And now the reason I created a new layer is so once I've finished my manipulation, this is going to be in a separate layer and it's going to enable me to change the blending modes or edit it later on. I could work directly on a photo, which is what most people do, but uh, I recommend creating this new layer. All right, so make sure our perspective layer is selected. This is a layer we're going to work on. And now we're going to go into vanishing point. So we're going to choose filter and vanishing point. And now we're in here, we want to define the perspective. And all we need to do is just click here. Now here's a tip. If you hit the X key, it'll zoom in temporarily. So we can click and just going around these edges here. And it's going to automatic cal automatically uh, calculate the perspective. Now if I just let go of the X key, it zooms back up. So now we've defined the angle of our plane that we're going to be pasting onto. So now what I want to do is just paste my text. So that's Control or Command V, and that will paste it. All right, so there's our text. Now we need to make it fit the perspective. All we need to do is just click and drag, and look at that, it will snap in there just like that. So we can see we can do that. Now if we want to uh, resize this, just grab this little tool here on the side, and that enables us to just click and drag to resize and then just simply click there and we're done. So I'm just going to click OK and you can see now it's on a separate layer. This gives me the flexibility to do different things with it. OK, so I have a quick question for you. Have you worked in Vanishing Point before? Uh, yes or no? And also, did you know about working on a new layer? Because it really does give you a lot of flexibility. Let me know in the comments underneath. If you like this video, smash the like button into dust. So if you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, don't forget to subscribe here to Photoshop Cafe if you haven't already. Actually, I'm surprised a lot of people said, I've been watching your videos. I didn't even realize I'd subscribe, hadn't subscribed yet. So just hit that little subscribe button right now. It only takes a second. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you'll be informed whenever I upload the new tutorials. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.